Okay, this is how you export Revit to SketchUp like a pro. Um, oftentimes, A, you'll either find people that don't think that you can, or B, people think that the export quality is bad. Uh, I'm going to disprove both of those um, in this video. So, in my project, I've got sheets and I have views. So, you don't want to export from a sheet, you want to export from a view. So, you can duplicate your um, kind of default 3D view um, and rename it to like SketchUp export or something. You want to start there. Uh, from there, you can change the visibility settings of this view to get them where you want. Because whatever you see in this view, you can make what's visible here export out um, to SketchUp. So the first thing is to go to visibility graphics and under model categories, you can change um, what shows up here in your model categories. Second, uh, check your filters. Um, you might want to see what filters are turning certain things on and off. Um, you can also go to your design options and make sure that the correct design options are shown in this view. Um, you can also change the, the detail level because sometimes things might not be visible at certain detail levels. Um, so if something's not showing up, check those things. And then lastly, I'd recommend changing the, um, if you go to graphic display, I would recommend changing model display to consistent colors. Um, hit OK. That way, let's zoom in here, you can kind of see <clears throat> the colors that show up in this view are what we expect to see when it comes out. Uh, in SketchUp. So next to finally export here, we'll go to File, Export, CAD Formats at the top, and DWG. Uh, it's important to make sure that we select DWG here. Um, you can set up uh, a new export template. Um, I have Export to SketchUp as a template. Um, first, if you go into Layers, um, when you spit this out to SketchUp, you're going to want to give different objects that are in certain categories in Revit. You want to spit them out to certain layers or tags in SketchUp. Um, so that's where you make these each of these components. You can name them to where they're going to go. Lots of them can go to the same tag in SketchUp, um, but you'll want to check that. Um, also at the top, your export layer options. You want to select this top um, this top option up here, so we don't get a whole bunch of layers. Um, and also really important, if you want to get the colors right, go to colors and change export color as specify it in view. So that way, <clears throat> everything that we're seeing in this Revit view should be what we see uh, coming out to SketchUp. So um, I'm gonna click OK, and then click Next. And I'm just going to um, go Automatic Short, which is going to make it, uh, it's gonna name it based on the name of the view here in Revit. Um, hit OK. And in this view, we have an entire project. So um, it's going to be exporting the trees, the structure, the floor, the column, um, all of these, um, all of these entities. So now that that's exported, let's open up SketchUp. I also have a SketchUp uh, template um, already set up with all of my view preferences the way I want them. So all I have to do is directly import to file, import. Um, you'll go to where you just exported that, um, and then hit options make sure that you have import materials checked and preserve drawing origin. I like to preserve drawing origin just so that everything shows up um, where you expect them to. Um, and then you also keep this to model units and we'll hit import. And you'll see it pop right in the middle here and it should look pretty much how we have it in Revit. Um, no error messages. And there we go. So you also see um, these are the for the elements that did actually get exported. These are the um, tags that were sent in that um, export settings that we looked at. So I can actually turn these layers off in SketchUp. And if I zoom in, um, this will be a very functional uh, SketchUp model that you can start designing the exterior uh, of the building. Um, we can also flip this so instead of the structure we're seeing just like a diagramic, di diagrammatic gross um, kind of volume uh, 3D model here. I can also turn the trees off, the curb striping off, um, context. So you get the idea. You can set up this whole process um, from Revit into SketchUp 
um, pretty easily, pretty quickly. Um, at the end of the day, you can set this up and do it over and over again with the same process and it'll speed up your workflow really fast. So um, that's that. Hope that's helpful for everybody. I uh, will see you next video. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.